Hi everyone, my name is Luis Chantry. Welcome to another Burlitz mini class video. Today we'll be talking about linking words or connectors in English. Learning connectors in English is extremely important for those who want to have a good command of the language. Connectors are words that link phrases, clauses, or ideas and are essential for clear, coherent communication. Furthermore, knowing connectors in English helps to expand vocabulary and understand more complex texts as the meaning of the sentence often depends on how these conjunctions are used. Correctly using connectors in English is also fundamental for those who want to achieve good results in proficiency tests such as TOEFL, TOEIC, and IELTS. Therefore, dedicating time to learn and practice connectors in English is a smart choice for those seeking to improve their English language skills. Before we start, let's hear some important tips for this lesson. When I say repeat, you try to repeat as accurately as possible. Go back, compare, see if it was similar, and try again. When I say, now you go, or it's your turn, I will assume that you are responding to me and simulate a dialogue with you. Practice, repeat, try again, and compare. Let's get started. Let's get started. Connectives in English are words or expressions that connect two ideas or thoughts in the same sentence. They are important to give cohesion and coherence to the text, making it easier to understand. Some examples of linking words in English are and, but, or, so, however, therefore, etc. Let's see some examples. I'll say it and you repeat two or three times, okay? Let's see. I wanted to play tennis. It's raining a lot now. It is raining a lot. Therefore, I am not playing tennis today. Repeat now. It's raining a lot. Therefore, I'm not playing tennis. Once again, great job. Let's see another one. I would like to buy a Ferrari. It's way too expensive. I would love to buy a Ferrari. However, it's too expensive for me. Now you go. I would love to buy a Ferrari. However, it's way too expensive. Go again. However. Great, great. And you can change the Ferrari for something else as well. Each connector has a specific function in the sentence and can change its meaning. For example, and is used to add one idea to another. This book is interesting and expensive. This book is interesting and expensive. You try. On the other hand, but is used to show a contradiction. Example, I love pizza, but I'm on a diet, so I'll pass tonight. You go now. I love pizza, but I'm on a diet, so I'll pass. In addition, there are connectors that are used to show cause and effect, such as because and so, and others that are used to make comparisons, such as as, as. It is important to know the meaning of each leaky word in order to use them correctly and effectively. Some examples. John is not going to the party because he has to work. Please repeat, because. John is not going to the party because he has to work. Luana is tired, so she's taking a rest. You go now. Rio de Janeiro is beautiful. Paris is also very beautiful. Rio de Janeiro is as beautiful as Paris. Can you try now? Your turn. Rio de Janeiro is as beautiful as Paris. To use connectives in English, it is important to understand how they fit into the sentence and how they change the meaning of the sentence. For example, if you want to add one idea to another, use and. But if you want to show a contradiction, use but. It is also important to know where to place the connectors in the sentence so that it makes sense. And to help familiarize yourself with the connectors, practice reading and writing texts in English, paying attention to how the connectors are used. Let's see some other connectors and practice a little bit more. I am so tired. Nonetheless, I have to finish this report tonight. You go now. Good job. Although it's late, we can play another game. Your turn. Good. Great. Despite being a little stubborn, she can become a good asset to the team. Now, you go. He's really being too hard on the team. Nevertheless, results have been coming. Now you go. Try it. Nevertheless. Good job. So what did you think about the explanations uh, about the connectors in English? 
I hope you learned more about how to use the linking words to make your English more cohesive and coherent. Now, tomorrow, try to recover some of them without writing them. Try to uh, use the sentences, go back, put them together, compare, try, then watch the video again, practice a little bit more. Always try to recover what you, what you saw in the video. Then correct yourself. Finally, try to use them in your everyday conversations. Tell us more in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one.